In one of the recent directs, Alex mentioned that TAA got a bad rep because there are still many people sitting close to a 1080p monitor, and there, TAA can possibly look bad. Uh, that got me thinking that a certain resolution is not the same for everyone. Would it make more sense? Um, would it make more sense? instead of showing performance at 1080p, 1440p and 4K, to show performance at 55-inch 4K TV at 3 meters, 27-inch 1440p monitor at 1 meter, and 24-inch 1080p uh, monitor at 1 meter, calculated so that each setting has the same perceived image quality, e.g. Wow. by using a resolution scaler or different upscaling levels. Um I wonder if you put some thought into this, Oliver, because there is some merit to this, but it is ultimately the difference between what I believe is called uh, sit back and lean in gaming. Sit back gaming essentially being the console domain in the living room where you're in your couch and mm -hmm. your TV is some distance away. Lean in being more PC like with the monitor, you know, right in front of you, uh, where obviously there is, you know, it isn't it isn't like for like, is it? No, I think it's an interesting idea because you are talking about the ability of the eyes to resolve a certain amount of detail at a given distance yeah. resolution. Which would be different on a per person basis, but Yes, uh, yeah. different on a per person basis, different depending on your eyesight. I personally have like twenty fifteen eyesight, which is a bit better than uh mm -hmm. twenty twenty, right? Uh when corrected, but other people might have different uh, ability to see things or different preferences or near sightedness, far sightedness that that maybe can be corrected or can't be. But I think the problem with this is because you are dealing with a fundamentally different amount of pixels in each instance, you will see some image quality trade-offs that aren't related to per just perceived clarity because you're likely right. to see more breakup with that 1080p image and yes. aliasing and flickering potentially that that's not just related to the sharpness of the image. That's actually related to the way the image is, is resolving and being stable, right? So that's yeah. one complicating factor. And that is often more noticeable at a distance, even if a softer image isn't really, in my experience, I can notice flickering a lot more easily than I can a little bit of a softer image on a 4K display at a distance. But I think it's an interesting concept. And I think it's it's worth thinking about personal preferences and uh, viewing distances and things like that a little bit more. I, I think it is worth it. And for me personally, like something like 1440p on a 4K display from a television viewing distance on a console, that looks pretty good, can look pretty good but it's less appealing yeah. when I'm right up next to a 4K monitor. So I definitely notice this in my own practice playing games. But I, I think it is bringing up a valid point, which is that, you know, resolutions uh, and what you need to what you need to look at a game at, it's all dependent on exactly how much clarity your eye is able to perceive in that, in that display. Yeah. Well, I agree entirely that there are aliasing issues to, to consider, which are you know, much more of a problem in that lean, you know, sit back gaming scenario. If you go back to like the original um, Xbox One PS4 era back in 2013, TAAU wasn't really a thing. So the difference between 900p and 1080p on an Xbox versus a, uh, versus a PlayStation was actually pronounced not so much in terms of, um, uh, you know, quality of assets, but more to the fact that, you know, the image on the Xbox was flickering and had temporal issues where the PlayStation 4 wasn't that, you know, mm -hmm. as much affected. Um, but it's certainly an interesting topic and I'm interested in uh, your opinion, Alex. Yeah, I liked the, I really liked the point about like, you'll see like, like a thin wire at a 1080p image, even if you're yep. far away from it, you'll see it flickering in between the thick the pixels each frame that you wouldn't see with a 4k image even at a similar distance where you can't really tell the difference in clarity but you'll notice a macro image effect of flicker so i thought that was really brilliant um i think i like the idea of be taking a more subjective route into this idea of what a 4k like what you should be trying to get out of 4k or 1440p or 1080p based upon a variety of factors so you have like the the pixel for like arc like the pixel density for like arcs of like what your eyes can actually see at a certain distance as well as other macro image effects such as flicker moire or what have you that ha are agnostic to actually distance and um how cl clear an image is i think that's mm -hmm. there's so, like a matrix there that i don't think you can uh, really solve for something as simple as like doing like a GPU review and like having a chart 
But I think as part of like the holistic review experience where you describe things subjectively, it's a it's an important part of it. Yeah, I think yeah. Uh, testing methodology would actually be really important here because um, otherwise you're going to get trapped in that. <laughs> Do you remember uh, when 4K came along? It's like, well, if you're, you know, six foot away or six meters away from your TV, you can't tell the distance uh, versus, sorry, you can't tell the difference versus 1080p. Ergo, it's useless. Whereas, you know, mm. it's, it's especially in the gaming arena, it's certainly not useless. You know, you can tell the difference between a 4K image and a 1080p image. Uh, the question is, what are the parameters for what makes decent image quality when you're sat a fair distance away from the, from a, you know the, that sort of size screen? Did you have something to say there, Oliver? Yeah, I, I just like to say that, like that's why you know when I cover games, I try to provide a bit of a qualification as to their image quality characteristics on console, right? So if yeah. I'm talking about a game like Helldivers 2, which runs at 1080p and its performance, what I'm going to say, it still looks pretty soft in a 4K display. But if I'm looking at yeah. something like, I don't know, I was taking a look at Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade, I'd say that looks pretty good on a 4K display. Now, that's not Rebirth, that's the older game <laughs> and doing some comparisons there. But that is the kind of thing that I tend to gravitate towards. It's like, how am I perceiving it on an actual display? And I think people are sometimes afraid of like, oh, it's not a perfect pixel match. It can look totally fine. Again, providing that the image is stable and it's clean enough and clear enough, it can be a good experience. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think we'd need to bring in some sort of expert on this to mm -hmm. sort of help set up the parameters of what would be a good test. Uh, but it's certainly worth considering, especially in the PC space. I'd be curious to see, you know, the, the perceived differences um, in this kind of more lean-in style of gaming. 